Okay, as this video is going live, it's about time for Thanksgiving. So we all love our dogs and we all have our close family reunions that we get together hopefully you know and if you don't you have a small dinner any way it goes most people have a Thanksgiving dinner and they got a Doberman in the house and the Doberman wants to be part of your family he wants to be with you he wants to be what you're doing as I've said that a thousand times so this becomes a problem on Thanksgiving when the main activity is eating and that's his favorite main activity is to eat he smells something in the woods where we're right in front of the, of the mountains right there so comes a problem because <laughs> one of the years that we had him we gave him too much uh, we had a, a big turkey and there wasn't as many of us as usual so we had a lot of leftovers we gave him too much and it made him sick and uh, we learned from that experience and from that experience what I learned was he needs to be part of the family to eat with us so what we did is we got a Kong or you can get a toy similar to a Kong something that he has to work to get his food out of and when he wants a bite you put it in that and so that way he can have his toy and have his food it takes him a while to eat it because if you just give it to him straight out he's going to be eating his food his food's gone and then he's going to come wanting more yep. there's something up there he's going after it well i'm waiting on him to get back from his uh, hunting adventure here uh we're going to talk about what he can and he can't eat um so yeah turkey is going to be okay just the turkey though but the bones are going to be cooked uh, they could cause him problems in his throat and the digestion don't give him any cooked turkey bones but the some lean turkey yeah put that in his uh, toy through the day give him some of that don't give him the carcass the carcass is going to have a bunch of bones in it don't give him that stuffing is a no stuffing usually has garlic and it has all kinds of spices and stuff that, that are just really hard on his stomach and uh, later on in the evening it's going to be hard on you too <laughs> it's going to give him gas things like that mashed potatoes are okay because cooked potatoes are all right raw potatoes are not was your hunt successful come on we gotta go in mommy's horse is out we gotta go get her horse her other horse not their dog horse Day morning. He turned around. <laughs> we were in so much trouble. Okay, this is Hershey. We've been trying to fatten him up. He's getting a little older. He's an older horse. You can see his bellies. All nice and fat, but he's just not putting his fat anywhere else. <laughs> he's going to run across that little electric fence line, isn't he? Okay, so what's happened is this electric fence has, uh, we had a storm last night, and it came down. And we've got a pole missing, so we're going to have to put it back up. So, cheap way to test an electric fence. So th this is not enough electricity to really hurt you. This is enough electricity to give you a little bit of a jolt and say, hey, you know, you, you don't need to touch that. It keeps the horses in where we can move them to different places easily and let them eat more. And it's not inhumane in any way, so don't think that. <clears throat> With this, he gets to get out of the barn and gets to stay out of the barn a lot more and live a more natural life. Uh, and that's what we want. We want a more natural, happy life for a horse. So, you know... Unfortunately, to do that, we used to have to use an electric fence, but we can move this electric fence to different parts of the property. And this is not our property, so the option of putting up a fence is, is not there. Um, and it would be quite an expense, expensive fence to fence in the whole area. But that's not our option, it's not our property. Uh, a neighbor has allowed us to use this property uh, so we can fatten the horses up and let them eat naturally through the year. And they like to look at the horses they're beautiful you know who wouldn't want to, to look over and see a, a beautiful horse on the morning time so i'm going to test this fence out the dangerous way so the quick way to test the electric fence for free okay so i'm laying a weed on there at a distance and i'll scoot in closer and closer until i feel a little tingle on my fingers there it is for sure okay so i can feel just a little bit of a tingle on my fingers so i know that the fence has electricity on it you guys will stay in i know i said it <laughs> 
my god where i live is so beautiful in the fall i love florida in the winter time i really do i like the fact that i can go swimming and it'd be 80 degrees in the winter time but the fall in west virginia Yes, I will. Now I do a full video on what you can and you can't feed him. What do you got in your mouth? <laughs> So you give that a good watch. This video is more specifically for about Thanksgiving. So the most important thing is that you have a great holiday and you enjoy spending time with the family. And remember, he is part of the family. Oh boy, you poor family. Yeah.